It's been an incredible challenge that has forced me to reach down deep inside. And I have nothing. Yeah, it's just completely empty up here and terrifying. But we did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. So apparently, Ryan Reynolds' is Deadpool has been away for a while. COVID hasn't helped. And then Disney threw a whole heap of money at things. Now they own Fox. So now Deadpool is in the Marvel movies now. We just have to accept it. The company is just going to get bigger and bigger. It's a monster. It's just going to grow larger and larger and larger and larger and larger. And then they had this really cool fight sequence in the opening of the movie sent to the Backstreet Boys. I was a Backstreet Boy once. I looked just like Hugh Jackman in that opening scene. And then the ABC ZFG showed up and they ripped the wig off Mr. Reynolds' head and then they whisked him away for some reason. I hate hearing they make us watch those shows on Disney+. Plus. I'm a busy tourist, I don't have time to watch those! So I had to get Mr. Huge Jackman back, because apparently all the franchises with the X-Men just fall apart if he's not there. Because he's Australian! <laughs> he's awesome! Then an evil bald lady shows up. She looks a lot like me! Hey, I didn't write that! Who put that in? She's the key to Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Huge Jackman getting home, but I don't know. Lots of fighting happens, people from other movies show up. It was all very confusing. <laughs> and then my keys. And so the Marvel Universe has been saved now that Mr. Huge Jackman and Mr. Reynolds are in it now. At least that's what I got from it. I need to sit down. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Spoilers at the Movies. What is that? It's a small clacker. It's a clacker. <clears throat> anyway, we just got it out of Deadpool and Wolverine. And... Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I liked it. Didn't uh, go into what they could, but it was all multiverse parallels and all that sort of stuff, which seems to be a running thing lately with movies, and it's just comic book heroes, multiverse. Actually, what you did was you changed the future and you changed the past. If a person is stupid enough to mess with time, what you eventually end up with is this. A multiverse. Some strands run almost parallel. There will be inevitable intersections and others that are just wildly divergent. But it is. It's a hot mess. It seems that like branches hanging off a single tree, each of these dimensions sprang from a common source. Destroy the source, and you would set off a chain reaction that would destroy Ninja Turtles everywhere forevermore! So even if you destroy the world, there are a billion others, right? What difference would it make? Somewhere in the multiverse, there is a world I call Earth Prime. Every Earth is a variation of this one, the original. And once I destroy it, all reality will follow. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Bring back actors you didn't expect to see there and have a good time. Which this one did, more or less. It was better than The Flash. You know The Flash and Michael Keaton. Yeah. I'm Batman. But yeah. Hugh Jackman was what everybody came for, and he just knocked it to the other part. It's like he never left. Yeah. And the good news is, well, we can say this because our show is called Spoilers. Yes. Looks like Hugh Jack, huge Jack man, is sticking around, which is good. Yes. Which is a good sign. Um, story. No, basically what we said. It's been said a hundred times before. Ryan Reynolds is back as Wade Wilson after some long periods of he hasn't been around, and then. Um, 
uh, what is that group called? The TVA, the, the Time Variance Authority. Yeah, they come around and uh, tell Wade that basically if he doesn't do what they want, they'll erase his time, whether he likes it or not. And yeah, he goes off to get Hugh Jackman to fix it because apparently Wolverine's what's hold his universe together and because he's dead, you know, there's no movie. It's there. Yeah, it's like since the Wolverine in his universe died in Logan, he has to go to another universe to get another Wolverine and hijinks ensue from there. Uh, go fuck yourself. But yeah, there's a lot of cameos in this you don't see coming. Some of them you sort of go, yeah, that's such and such, here they come. Or the other one is, where's this person or where's that one? Which I thought there was a few in there that could have been included who are the bigger names that they are, but they just sort of miss out. So yeah, but no, it does that and it's a really good fun movie. It's gory, it's funny, it's not what you expect to see from Disney's side of Marvel, but it's very much putting Deadpool in a Marvel and making yeah. fun of it. And I think Ryan Reynolds had a good time doing yeah. that. It's yeah. just as much a love letter to the Fox era of Marvel movies before Marvel as it is known today came along. Yeah, so anything, did not include Spider-Man because that was Sony. That it's anything like X-Men, um, Daredevil, Elektra, the Fantastic Blaze, Four. Uh, yeah, Fantastic Fours, all those ones that came out, there was a big thing at the time and just sort of disappeared into other places. So yeah, it was good. <laughs> um, what do we do next, rating? Okay, the rating of this, I don't know what I gave the other two, I can't remember, but I think it's just, for me, it's a solid three. Hugh Jackman might get it over the line with a 3.5. Yeah, we'll do yeah, that. So, like, I came in for Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, and I got Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. I had a good time. But there you go. Um, yeah, well, I guess that's really it. There's nothing really we can say other than, oh no, we don't give a 3.5s, we do it as um, what we intend to go go see it at the movies yes go go see it at the movies yeah hopefully before someone spoils it for you exactly the jackasses stay off of youtube bye now bye bye i told you you're not welcome here you're not welcome anywhere now get the fuck out of my bar just give me one more drink and then i'll leave hi peanut i'm gonna need you to come with me right now look lady i'm not interested <laughs> all right well i'm sort of on the tick tick so upsy daisy here we go oh, hey, hey. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Life is a mystery. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. I am soaking wet right now. Boys are so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Like Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Wanna do some cocaine? Hey. The one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupter? Even Forrest Bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes!